Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Escamilla, President of Delmar College. Welcome to this nurse education lab, where later you'll meet some of the students training for healthcare careers across the coastal bend. I'd like to first introduce Jean Seaman, who's here with us. Jean, would you just kind of step up? I'm just going to introduce Jean. His wife, Ellen, was not able to be with us this morning, but, but Ellen is always with us, great friends of the college, and we appreciate you so much. Jean and Ellen are, are those kind of folks who are making a significant donation uh, to Delmar College Foundation today. Uh, I'd also like to take a few moments to thank everyone, uh, members of the board, uh, foundation board, Dr. Scott Elliff and others who are here um, joining us in support of all the things that you do to raise money and support for the college. We certainly appreciate that. I'd like to also go out and say thank you to the Board of Regents for their collective support for all the great things that they've done and are doing uh, on a volunteer basis to make sure Delmar College is, is uh, achieving our mission goals. We're here to announce today this gift from the Siemens that will benefit the general education development or the GED graduates for perpetuity. The GED students must bring a special level of commitment to completing their high school diploma on the road to a college career. I admire their courage. The GED students are those students who, are, um, who have a tremendous opportunity with Delmar College and we've really been advancing uh, our program of, of work with GED program and the opportunities are greater than ever here in the Coastal Bend and we're very proud of, of the work that our GED team um, are putting together or is putting together for our students. Getting back to the Siemens, the Siemens have already endowed the Gene and Ellen Siemens GED scholarship which will benefit students for many years to come. Today the Siemens are announcing their gift to increase this endowment fund to one by one hundred thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just thank you. This gift, this gift will go a long way to making the Delmar College education, uh, Delmar College education accessible to everyone living in our region. And again, with this very powerful program, uh, Delmar College takes very seriously uh, our opportunities with GED instruction for our entire community. And uh, again, uh, it's just an honor to be here this morning. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mary McQueen, our Executive Director of Development for Delmar College, so she can take us to the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, scholarships are really such an important part of access to education, and every dollar counts for our students because we have such an incredible wealth of potential in this community that needs that extra helping hand to get them into the American dream. Um, the GED graduates have already overcome a lot of challenges just in earning their high school equivalency and they have made that step and that investment in their own education to make this happen. Pursuing higher education should be the next step but so often the scholarships that are out there are for more traditional students and this scholarship says no we know that you have potential and we want to help you get that first step and that leg up you know data shows that corpus christi residents age 25 and up with less than a high school diploma or a ged certificate um, they earn a medium income of about fifteen thousand four hundred thirty dollars. Some of these GED students left high, high school as early as the ninth grade and completing just the GED can earn an, uh, can, and an associate's degree can increase the annual income to over twenty eight thousand seven hundred dollars. That's a huge step forward in these students life career. Um, so Delmar graduates obviously can earn even more. I mean, we have programs where students get out of a two-year program and they're already making eighty, ninety thousand dollars because of the types of jobs that we have in our community. The new industry moving into our region and expanding our economy, those are incredible jobs. And Delmar is strategically positioned to provide the education to make those jobs available to our residents. So through these kinds of programs, Del Mar it offers a better way of life for not just these students, but their families, and also for the economy of South Texas. As we produce more graduates that, that feed our workforce, then our businesses, our industry can grow. 
and it becomes a wonderful cycle of feeding itself. The Siemens gift uh, to provide more GED graduates is an opportunity to provide that access, which is an opening to an entirely new world. Jean and Ellen, even though Ellen's not here, I wanna thank you for your generous gift. These scholarships go to students who don't necessarily get the attention of so many donors, but they do, they get it. Your commitment to higher education um, so that Del Mar College GED graduates can take that next step and become college students. Um, well, we're here to say Del Mar College means dreams delivered and you've just delivered a lot of dreams. Please join me as, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. It's a wonderful uh, blessing to me. And Scott, thank you, great educator in this community. Thank you. Um, there's two perspectives to this gift. Um, one is to make it into perpetuity so it'll be there when I'm gone. <laughs> and uh, the other is the, the economic side and then the human side. And the economic side of this in this community, we have six or 8,000 skilled workers, San Patricio, along the port, all of these new plants being building, build, built, Chenier, and then probably Exxon, whatever happens. But there's thousands of jobs that pay 40 to 60 to 80,000 a year of highly skilled workers. And we can't fill those jobs. So there's, there's that economic side to build this community. The other side is the human equation, the human side. Uh, what I know about the people that go through GD, we've had banquets and they're always 25 and 35 and 45 year old and some even older. One lady was about 60 and a few years ago, I couldn't believe it, getting her GED. How, uh, uh, how passionate, uh, how really meaningful, emotional, all of that is to each GED. A, a tainer. So there's this human side. Uh, they drop out and they want to get back into the system. Let's say they're 35 years old and we'll soon be hearing from somebody. I didn't say you were 35, you look 20, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, that have been 20 years and got a GED. But then the problem is that single mom, and frankly, a lot of men, but a lot of, most of them are single moms with two kids or so. What are they going to do once they get their GED, their dream? Now they got the GED, but then what can they do? They don't have that next step up, that the money to get that first year. So the GED scholarships are for that first semester, the $1,000 that they can get in the door and live their dream, fulfill their passion. Then once they're in, then they find out, A, I can do it. I can do it. And that's a big step. I can do it. Then, then they develop a great average, a GPA. They didn't go through King and get a GPA, but now they're Delmar and they get a great average. Now they can go and get more scholarships in that second year, even go to the university with the dual credit system that we have. So it's just part of fulfilling the dream. I mention up here, one student at a time, two, two pathways. One, the GED and that student coming up through the, through the system and, make, and having a success. The other, dual credit, which is the dream of the education system, Scott, Mark, where they're gonna go through the education system and in high school get credits for college. And they can come to Del Mar and they can at a lower cost of education and then go to the universities. And all of that to the pathways to success. And that's the reason for the contribution. And we've been funding it for um, eight or 10 years. And uh, Mary tells me that we've done 40 of them so far. And I pray to God we will do hundreds of them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Rachel M. Benavides. She's the Director of Adult Literacy and Education of GED. 
and I will recognize you in just a minute. Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, the Adult Education and Literacy Department extends a very heartfelt thank you to you and to your wife. Thank you so much because you don't understand how much this really means to us oh. and to our program, so I, I appreciate that. For our GED students earning their high school equivalency certificate proves that they have the ability to a second chance. It gives them the opportunity for a better, brighter future. Um, in turn, endowing a scholarship fund confirms that individuals like Mr. and Mrs. Seidman uh, believe that our graduates have the ability to continue their success once they complete our program. Having their support really means a lot to our students to know that we're out there, we're conscientiously thinking about them, and we care about their, uh, their success. The Siemens Endowed Scholarship will act as a ticket to our GED graduates next step, whether they pursue specific skills or trades or certification by Del Mar's wonderful programs, or whether they pursue an associate's degree or even beyond that. This scholarship endowment will allow them to continue to move forward. Additionally, the Jean and Ellen Seaman GED scholarship not only acts as a monetary award, but it also boosts our self-esteem, our graduate self-esteem. I think that's more importantly what this does for our graduates because it does provide them with that funding opportunity, but it also instills a value of self-worth and self-esteem that many of our students have lost along the way. Again, the AEL department, including our students, our employees, and uh, all of us that come together on a daily basis to, to help our students succeed, thank Mr. and Mrs. Seaman for making this wonderful opportunity available so that our, our graduates can pursue their dreams. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask Melinda, and please, I apologize if I butcher this last name, Siatos? Close. Close. Okay. <laughs> I, I got a B minus on that one. <laughs> All right. Would you please come up? This is one of the students that actually received a scholarship from the Jean and Ellen um, GED program, and she, I'd love you to share your story. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, first, I want to thank uh, thank you for having me speak today. Such an honor. Um, I'm truly honored to represent not only the recipients of the Jean and Ellen Seaman GED scholarship, but also the graduates of the Del Mar College GED program. In, de in December of 2012, I found myself working at a local retail shop with uh, eighth grade education. That was the highest grade level I had completed before I decided I wanted to come back to school. Uh, when I, one day, I decided to come to Del Mar and find out what I needed to do to come back to school. They told me that I could not attend uh, college without a GED first. So I went over to the GED department and found Mr. Dan Zamora and got all the information required in order for me to attend Del Mar College. I attended a four-day orientation to take placement exams as well as uh, listen and listen and listen to lectures from Mr. Zamora on the expectations. Um, on February 4th, I enrolled and had my very first day. I quickly submerged myself in studying and completing the assignments that were required. On April 25th, I was very fortunate to get my GED certificate, um, which was really exciting. The GED program offered a graduation ceremony that allowed me to walk across the stage in cap and gown over at the Richardson uh, Performance Hall. That night, seeing myself in cap and gown truly ignited the fire in me to pursue a higher education. I spoke with Mr. Dan Zamora and Ms. Franny Jackson over in the GED department about pursuing a degree. They showed me all degrees available, um, and the one that stood out the most was the nursing program. I knew it was going to be the hardest course to go through. Uh, and I, I chose it because it would be the most rewarding upon completion. And now as a level two nursing student, wow. I can vouch it is the hardest <laughs> <laughs> I've ever gone through in my life. <laughs> but the instructors here uh, definitely push you forward to be the absolute best you can be. <clears throat> the, um, I finally did speak to an advisor about taking all the necessary courses. Uh, and there was a long list. I was scared. I had been out of school for over 20 years, but I was determined to make my dreams come true and have my dream delivered. 
that Del Mar promised would happen if I completed. So I applied for scholarships from uh, all over here and throughout Texas, but the first scholarship uh, to accept me as a recipient, very, very lucky, was the Jean and Ellen Seaman Scholarship. How fortunate for them to specifically target GED students who sometimes get looked at as um, a risk for retention because we quit school before. Uh, but they specifically target us, and I am forever grateful to that. Um, through my hard work and determination, along with Siemens' generous support, I am now the level two nursing student that I've been working hard to get to. I want to personally thank Mr. and Mrs. Seaman for your generosity mm -hmm. and support of me as I work to become a registered nurse through the Del Mar GED program. I have to make sure I utilize all available resources, such as the Nursing Success Center, the Student Success, Success Center. Without these valuable resources, I wouldn't be where I am today. With your continued support and my hard work, I will succeed. Yes. Now I also uh, would like to say something to the students. Any students who are listening or, or uh, here who are taking their GED courses or thinking about attending the Del Mar program, GED. I want you to believe in yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> Even when past hardships or other students set you up for failure. Let go of the thoughts that weaken you, treat yourself as you want to be, and let go of the fears about being judged or too old to attend school. You're too far behind to learn, and know that you have every right to attain the education that you want and deserve. Why you dropped out of school so long ago doesn't matter. What matters is that you're trying now. Thank you again, and to sum up my remarks, I'd like to quote Buddha. When the student is ready, the master appears. Thank you so much for letting me speak today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. Seaman. I truly am grateful forever. I really appreciate you You did very well, nervous or not. I am extremely and, nervous. And a little emotional works. Yes. It does for me, too. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> but you. one thing, when you finish your nursing, if I ever get old, then I want you to come take care of me. Absolutely. That's a promise. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. President. I really appreciate Thank you. it. <laughs> She's done. Yay. <laughs> She's like, that's done. So you can see these kinds of scholarships make a big difference. And I would like to echo um, what Melinda said. Our GED program is a no judgment zone. Thank you for saying that. We don't care what's happened in your life. We care what you can be. And this program is remarkable for doing that. Thank you for saying that. Over the past decade, the Siemens have provided, through this particular program, about 24000 over $24,000 in scholarships to support, support 40 students through their GED scholarship. However, this is not the only area that the Siemens support. They also have provided over the past 25 years 120 scholarships for homeschool students, another group that has a tendency to not be in the system. Once again, lots of, of great potential that's overlooked by a system that looks at students as if they're this, in this box. And we know students are all over the place, and our job is to help them with their dreams regardless of where they come from. So this particular type of scholarship, the homeschooling scholarship, the dual credit program by giving that jump, sh jump start in high school, those are all important things Amen. to make a difference to our community. Um, so if you would, join me one more time in thanking the Siemens. So we, I didn't, but the College Relations Department spent their creativity to come up with the check. I would like us right now to unveil the check. Mark, Melinda, would yes. you come in and do this too? And Jean. Okay. Come on, Jean. Okay. Melinda? Yes. All right. Okay. You're going okay. to lift okay. it from the back <laughs> and drop it. Yeah. Lift it this way. Lift it yep. from Ready? the back. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> Did you do that? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Well, as we are in, this is our um, the PDF, 
I can't even talk, I'm so sorry. Pediatric. This is our pediatric mannequin here. Wow. Where we just got this new uh, pediatric lab uh, for us to be able to learn how to assess and treat uh, the children that we will be learning. Uh, this is, as he says, if you can hear him, he said hello, I believe. He says his stomach hurts. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to assess your belly as well as see about what medications we can administer uh, to help you feel better. Is that okay? Any pain? No. I think he said no. <laughs> you feel sick? Oh, no. When's the last time you had something to eat? He did eat. He did eat. Oh, no. When was... Do you remember what it was? I don't remember. Oh. remember. At this point, we would ask the parent to come in and tell us what the child ate or if she knew um, when was the last time he ate so that we could readily assess what was um, possibly making him sick. Of course, we would uh, do a complete head-to-toe assessment on the child uh, to make sure that um, we monitored any abnormalities that were to be presented. I actually get to do my pediatric clinical sims this Wednesday, so I'll be in here um, taking care of this patient or maybe the others that you see in the, um, in the other beds with Mrs. Earwood in the back. Um, she feels, he said he, he feels <laughs> fine now, so the medication I got for <laughs> Good job, another success. Yay. Again, thank you all for being here. This is a wonderful uh, announcement and another wonderful step forward for Del Mar College and all the things that we're trying to do to empower our citizens to be here, stay here, and be the best they can be. Thank you. Why did you decide to donate uh, to this specific fund? Well, um, as I said here at the presentation, this has been a passion of mine for decades. Uh, one is to create a skilled workforce, and Delmar and the Craft Center are the answers to that. And as we go across the, the harbor, there's thousands of jobs over there, hundreds of jobs that can't fill because we haven't produced the trained craftspeople, whether welders, pipe fitters, electricians, whatever, to do the jobs. And they're high paying jobs. They're 40, 60, 70,000 a year jobs, which is part of the American dream. Mm -hmm. So that's the economic side. But the, the other side is the human side that uh, is the uh, dropout rate in the area, which is a disaster. We have actually thousands of young people in the area, 20, 30, 40, 50 year olds that have not got, gotten their, college, uh, their high school degrees. So they go back and get their GEDs. So here's the entry point. They get their GED, then they say, well, okay, as I said, there may be a single mom with a couple of kids. Now what do I do? I don't have any money. So unless they get a scholarship to get that first boost, that first tuition to get in for their semester, then that's the reason for the scholarships. So it's a continuum. It's taking someone that has dropped out of school, could be in crime or could be in welfare or other things, and uh, a low standard of living, get a GED, and Delmar provides that, and then from the GED get into college and get a degree, associate's degree here, and maybe you've gone to A&M or other universities. It's all part of that pathway to success. It's just part of the dream. Talk about the stigma that comes with people with GED. We just, uh, yes. You hit on that a little yes. bit, but there's, there's yes. reasons for these people. Yes, well, because we would look at society, not we. Society will look at that and say, oh, they're failures because they didn't finish high school. And maybe along the way, there's a, a this problem or that problem and, you know, alcohol or uh, a pregnancy or, you know, and we look upon that segment of society and we think that's a failure. And it's not true, because they've got the same dreams that you have and that I have. And if they get a break, if they can go and get that GED, 
and then from the GED get into Del Mar, then that is a gateway to success. And that's what it's all about. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, you've heard of my presentation two or three times, but then I'll give you the emotional side, which will be more valuable to your, your readers. And the emotional side is, that's where I started. And that's where my wife started. We both started there. And uh, we were from Buffalo, New York. I had worked on a farm as a boy and knew hard labor and barely made it through high school. In fact, I flunked algebra and I flunked geometry because in the fall, you're putting the crops, you're taking the crops out of the ground. In the spring, you're putting the crops in. I missed six weeks of school in the spring, six weeks of school in the fall. And how are you gonna do algebra and geometry when you miss six weeks? of the training, you know, the studies. So I have that, that background. Uh, I was fortunate when the military got a commission, went to Officer's Canada, date school, got a commission, went to flight school later, and uh, ended up a captain in the uh, uh, Army. And uh, after five or six years, wherever they got out, and went into business. Came to Corpus Christi, because I love the area. Came to Corpus Christi and made my future here, over 50 years in business in the area. Now, that background never left my heart. And so when I look around and see, typically, a young single woman with two kids at 25, 35, 40 years old, let's say, and I say women because that's the predominant. It is the males, uh, somehow, they go truck driving or, they, you know, they find their way out of the poverty, but that single mom doesn't. And so the GED uh, scholarships that we've done now for about 10 years, we've already done 40 of them, uh, they have really been the stepping stone for people to get into the pathway to success. And that's really the emotional side of it, okay? Um, now that we've funded it permanently, that'll all, when I'm dead and gone, it'll still be there, hopefully, if they manage the money well. <laughs> and it'll be there uh, into perpetuity. So there'll be dozens and dozens and dozens of scholarships over the years. And, yeah, God willing, I might even add more as the time goes on to make it even bigger than it is now. Anyway. And you pretty much answered my second question. Thank you so much. Okay, I great. And uh, one is the traditional path, but this GED is the non-traditional. And we're fun I want to fund the non-traditional because they never get a break in life. And it, as I said, there was typically a single mom, 25, 35 years old, a couple of kids living in poverty, but they have a dream. Everybody has a dream, don't they? So they have a dream and they say, well, how can I get there? Well, I've got to get a GED so that I've got some credentials. And once I get the GED, how do I get the money to start school? I can't afford it. So that first scholarship is the first leg in and gives them the, gives them the opportunity. Um, a lot of students that are on the fence, have you begun the GED program? Um, what's something that you want to tell them to entice them to start? Okay. I came up uh, this way. I was a farm boy, worked on a farm, working in the spring and the fall, putting in the crops in the spring, getting taken them out in the fall. And this population here, uh, the Hispanic population, they know what I'm talking about. I couldn't go to school in the fall and I couldn't go in the spring. I flunked geometry and I flunked algebra. I barely made it through school. I think they just had pity on me and let me through. <laughs> but I did get my high school diploma. So I have a deep passion about uh, the people who don't have that opportunity. And uh, now, then, then they cut, get to the funding. Let's say they get their GED. Then they say, now what am I going to do for funding? 